Welcome back everybody, it's time to lock down some popper slivers. Let's jump into these games here, see how we can do. Alright. Our hand. It's not terrible. A little bit, a little bit of a flood going. Uh, but I can work with it, I can work with it. Would be better if we could see one more creature, but we are on the draw, so as long as we can draw into like one drop even or something, that'd be nice. Astrolabe, all right. Well, there's one. It's just not exactly the one we were looking for, so. I just dragged my card out like it was Arena. I just played Arena for a second. I'm already, like, dragging my cards out onto the field. It's hilarious. Well, the guy's name is Delver98, so I'm gonna assume we're playing a Delve deck. So far, the signs are all there. Red Delver. All right. Well, that's not entirely what I want to see. Uh, I'm going to play the other Blossoming. We're just going to play out the Viverlint. That way, next turn, we can uh, make sure we have everything held up, including our Vines for protection. He may die, though, straight away. We'll see. Gonna cycle, alright. Preordain again? Why not? He's got white going now, so some kind of variant maybe, I guess. Maybe it's not Scred Delver. Ooh, Journey, all right. Sure. Rather have you hit that than my lords. And we get our own Journey, so that's nice. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Keep out some protection. Pass the turn. Drifter, all right. Not worried about that either. Paying full cost for it. All right, getting the chancery up and running. All righty. Well, let's go ahead and drop our other lord. Start getting in there for some damage. Pass to them. I was going to call that, too. I was going to say, Skyfisher maybe now? Because who knows what we're actually playing against. They're doing some kind of three-color nonsense. Astrolabe it.
What you got for me? Got something else? No? Alright. Well, this is pretty excellent. So we're gonna go ahead and... Drop this. Counter? Sure. Probably should have done the journey first. Uh, but that's alright. We're still gonna journey this guy. Get him out of our way. Swing in for six. There we go. Still got plenty of cards in their hand, so. Another astrolabe, sure. Keep them coming. Evolving Wilds. Alright. Another Sky Fisher. Excellent. Card draw up the wazoo. Play it out again? Yeah? Benevolent Bodyguard. Alright. You gonna counter this? What are you gonna do here? Nothing? Alright. are going to go for the block. Hmm. All right. That'll happen. Fair enough. Save your creature. Bring back an astrolabe. Very close to lethal. Man, oh man. Look at this. Oh. I'm gonna grab the journey. Give us back our Viverlent, huh? Okay. Go for that, huh? Well, this is where we go like this. Protection from whites. We got another thing? I want you to tap out big, so I'm fine with if Fine if you do. Alright, they're gonna try it again, huh? Jeez, oh pizza. Alright. Once again, they're going for it. Probably on my predatory now.
There we go. We'll kick it, just for the heck of it. I mean, why not? And counter target into spell, alright. Hey. They'll get it. Hmm, we just get another one. So, sorry about that. Yeah. That's not fun. Get the poisonous. Get that sky fisher out. anything they want to us this turn. Chances are they'll probably survive till next turn unless we pull, they could tap out, take care of a lot of our board potentially, and then if we pull vines we could just win, but uh, it still might be hard to do. They're looking for it. Don't know what else they're sitting on there, but... Here comes a lot. All right, they're gonna return a uh, target instant or sorcery. And what are you gonna target? Preordain? Go ahead and preordain. Looks like we'll be going to game two. Good. All right. Sunlance. Relic or two. Natural state might be decent actually. Take out one of our journeys. Take out a sentinel. Plated doesn't look as strong in this match. Sidewinder is fine. Keep our spinnerets. All right, do I need all of this in here? Sunlance Journey, Journey, Sunlance, two relics. Oh, maybe just one relic's fine. And it won't cut a winding way. Sure, we'll try like that. Yeah, I like this. We'll keep it. Start with that astrolabe. Now, should we start with the relic? Mm, well, we can wait a turn on relic. We'll, we'll drop the sidewinder. Pretty good. Seems like they're holding up some kind of counter. Uh, so I'm just gonna play the Blossomings and try to drop this relic now. Pull out a counter maybe. And then next turn we can drop a, a Lord and hold up vines. 
see if they want to counter this or not. I'm fine if they do. It's not the end of the world. Yep, that's fine. We'll attack in for one. Start getting some damage going. Sure. They got a planes going, so uh, we can expect a journey at some point here. Could just be another counter spell they're re ready to uh, put down, so let's try to see what happens here. We gotta try. We got two more in our hand, so even if they counter this, it's not a big deal. Still sneak in there. All right, we are dang sure. Classic Skyfisher. Alright, well they're tapped out. It's too bad we don't have a way to play everything out here. Good news is we can still attack into this sky fisher with no problem. We'll go to 16. And I think we will cycle this at end of turn. Uh, unless we need to use the vines. Well, let's see what they do. They'll put out the astrolabe again. journey and I'm guessing they probably have a dispel in their hand uh, but better better to get it out of their hand and have them tapped out so we can play another Lord than, than not we'll try to do the vines here see what happens dispel yep dispel all right Natural state would be nice too. Just take that out right quick. And they're going in for damage. It's interesting. All right, tapped out they are. So we're gonna do this line again. Slowly but surely, knocking them down. We're getting so many of these vines draws, it's crazy. Astrolabe. What else are we looking at here? Anything? Attack, pass it to me, let's go ahead and cycle. Spinnerets, alright. And a Viverlance. Ooh, the choices. Uh, hmm. Two mana up. Well, let's go ahead and attack in first. 
just in case we need these vines. No blocks, all right. And I'm just gonna pass here. I'm gonna hold up double vines. I wanna keep the board I have. They're gonna brainstorm, especially now. They're gonna just filter their library. Gotta protect our lord here a little bit. All right, see, there's one of our vines right here. No thanks. And lightning, huh? Uh, well, again, we're gonna... We're gonna try to... Oh! Uh, undo. Cancel. There we go. Spell stutter. Alright, they'll get it. It's unfortunate. We had to try, though. Detecting with Sky Fisher though, so hmm. now we can deal with our own board here. We're tapped out, so I think we're gonna deal with that Sky Fisher now. Get another damage in. Get a little poisonous in. This feels loud, sorry. Can never tell if it's actually like overbearing or not. We're tapped out, so that's not fun. Overload on the electricity electricery. There goes our board. Lovely. Take a little hit here. Alright, give me some power. Not what I wanted to see. Well, we can block this spell stutter if we need to now. Not like we're in super danger yet, but... This is where they could turn around the game. Yep, Sky Fisher. Oh, that sucks. Alright, pass the turn. Cycle away. Yep, we'll take the two. Ugh, we got this thing going again. Lovely. So we get to do this, and then it goes back again. How gnarly.
Probably see a counter here, maybe? I got three cards in hand. Just gonna do that again and counter it. Well then. Ain't that fun. We'll go one more turn, then we'll concede. We'll go to game three. Uh, cause I'm not gonna do this dance too long. They're just gonna do this nonsense over and over. Stutter Strike goes back in their hand, so anything we play basically is going to get countered again, which is lovely. We need them to like tap out and then us draw winding away or something, that'd be the best bet. Or we get a natural state and we take out this journey. They're just drawing so many cards, it's ridiculous. Plated, countered. All right, I'm not doing this game. Let's go to game three. Um, let's see here. Do we like everything? I don't know if we want to do it any different. One relic, two natural. I like it. We just, uh, they just caught back up. And we will play first. Can't keep this, unfortunately. This is a terrible hand, too. Just flooded, flood, flood. Come on. You mulligan. I mulliganed. Alright, well now we have to keep this, so... And we'll just drop both our sinews. Keep. Boom. Boom. Done. Play. Play. Let's uh, bank on the poisonous to get the win here. Hopefully we can uh, just get in there really fast with poisonous. <laughs> That's all I can hope for. Just bad draws on their part. And we'll scoop in for the poisonous win. Would be nice if we could draw a another land though in the next turn. Or two. Can't wait too long. Played it. All right. Well, we'll give it a shot. All right. We'll make do with what we got, I guess. Next turn, we got four poisonous lined up. They'll go to six poisonous, and then we'll have lethal. If nothing else, if they can't, you know, interact with our board at all, which in the next two turns, I'm sure they'll be able to. They'll probably grab red here, maybe, for Scred. Yep, Mountain. So we can expect a Scred. You know, let it come back to us before they do it, though? I wouldn't, just in case we pop a Vines. Mm, oh my gosh, it's so terrible. What else was I supposed to do, really? They're taking it, though. No scred yet. Man, could this have worked out, worked out just enough for us to get this off of a uh, one lander? I'm having my fingers crossed here. I don't know. It's gonna be by the skin of our teeth if we get this, and they would have had to have like a very not good draw. 
what are you gonna do now, though? Scred me now? I appreciate you taking the damage first. Oh, nothing. Okay. Three mana up. Tapping that for mana, that's not gonna be good. They got a mole drift here or something? Skyfisher. Alright. So how do we deal with you? That's not how. Mmm. This sucks. We we're almost there. We gotta just pass. It's not worth the two poisonous. We gotta make sure yeah, we have a clear board for this to happen. Ah, oh, we're getting so mana screwed. Waiting to counter stuff. No, they are. We're waiting to just draw that removal. Well, hey, look at there. Look at what we finally got. Now watch this get countered. Ready? Boom. Counter. No? Wow. Okay, well, might have a little bit of a chance here if they can't. There's the scred. There's the scred. I'd be more concerned about our Viverlance at this point, though. Oh, they're running low on time. Holy crap, they gotta play fast. Yeah, this was a long game. So many astrolabes. So many card draws. Just gonna keep trying. <laughs> Jeez. At what point do we just want to attack in, you know? You gonna see another scred? Scred. Okay. Drifter. Maybe I just need to do Winding Way into some land here and hope for like a Plains player plated and just start trying to get around them. But they're attacking in now. Forest. Okay. Well. It's not exactly helpful, so I think we're just going to try to play the plated. And let's do Winding Way into some more creatures. Because we got to start making this board go. Go wide here. And we get a Sidewinder. That, eh, you know, it, it could be worse. We just need two creatures to get around. That's it. So if we can take out one of theirs, or have enough to get around two of theirs, that's all it needs. If they don't run out of time first. Which I'm not trying to play on their time here, but... It'd be nice to sneak in for the win with this Poisonous. I just It's uh, going to be an uphill battle. Ugh, journey. We'll take a Viverlint. Yep, take my Viverlint. Alright, well it's not over yet. It's just uh, become increasingly difficult. We're swinging for four. I mean, we still got a poisonous on the board, so we can still get in there for two poisonous. 
Unless they're gonna take it out. Scred. Dang it. This game is gonna be a wrap very soon. Alright, well, we'll, uh, I guess we'll attempt this. Probably get countered. Can't see. Oh, okay. Well, we're racing a little bit. So they've used three screds. I don't know if they're hiding out on one more, but... We racing? Passing, huh? Okay. They're doing this game. Getting a ton of card draw here. They were running low. Can't have that. Can't have your ha hand have less than three cards at any point. Hmm. The board is being built to perfection. Scred will go back in. They'll take out our lord. I think this is a wrap. If we're going by MTGO rules, we'll probably win on time. If we're going by how the game is looking like it's going, it's just going to be a wrap. So we'll probably give it to them. Uh, let's try to pop down our Sidewinder, then we'll winding way. We'll expend the rest of our cards and see how it goes. Now, let's see, what did I get rid of here? Predator, okay. So natural states are still in there. Because if we can, like, natural state, get our Viverlin back, pop another Viverlin out, Sidewinder, you know, there might be a chance. Yeah, oh, they're just going to keep doing this. Ephemerate, grab a Scred. Ephemerate, grab a Scred. We're going to give them a GG. I'm going to concede before his time once it runs out because uh, it's clear that he has uh, the game in the bag here. It's going to be very hard for us to get back from all mana up, ephemerating, grabbing the screds, drawing the cards. I mean, it's it's over. So we'll, we'll let the time run down maybe. We'll just see if there's anything else maybe we can pull out here. But uh, it seems like it's all over. So... Well, they're letting me run out stuff. They can just scred the, the heck out of Predatory, though. Double flanking, though, is nothing to mess with, for sure. Because they'll have bad, pretty bad blocks. They can scred the Predatory, but their blocks are still bad. bad. They go for the Viverlin, smart. It's actually a really close race. <laughs> like, for as much as they're doing, I don't know why they're not just being able to finish it off quicker or eliminate my board quicker, so. Ah, I want him to have more time. I really want to finish out this game to its fullest potential. I really do. I mean, I think he has it in the bag for the most part, but he just let us drop so many creatures, so I don't know where his counter spells are, why he's not using them. But, like, he is just running the board right now. It's just not quite enough. Ah, if we can just get our Viverlin back, <laughs> we could be golden here. Let's do that. Let's swing in with everything, find some basswood, and then we'll give it to him. 
Can we win if he, like, just blocks one thing and we vine and he doesn't counter? It's potentially what could happen. Eight seconds. Ah, he's gonna just end on time. Oh, well. Well. We'll just do this then. I uh, wish you had more time. Sorry. Let's see if he gets that. Let's see what our next card was. That was such a good match. It's kind of disappointing that we ended like that. Oh, well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the match. I mean, it was interesting games. Very back and forth. Very pretty evenly matched. Um... I honestly don't know who would have won that. I mean, let's take a look at the board here. Because obviously, if he had more time, he would have made some better blocks here. So he would have blocked with the score, uh, Sky Fisher, taken six, and let's say I do just go for the kick. He takes ten, and then he goes to one. He can swing back for, what did he have? Well, those guys would have died. Maybe we would have had it. It, you know, it, he would have lost two creatures on that, that block. I don't know where all his counter spells were that game. If he literally just didn't draw into any counter spells, that's incredibly unfortunate and just very unlucky. So we, if he really had no counter spells and all those things that were just being put down on the board were getting through uh, with no counter spells in his hand, then we could have probably had that game. It was looking pretty bleak for a while there. He was turning around and just taking care of all our creatures, bringing back the Screds, bringing back the Ephemerates, drawing, 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 drawing. With all that card draw, you think he would have had more answers. So I don't know if it was the clock that was getting to him and he couldn't just pull through or he wasn't playing right because the pressure of the clock was on his, uh, you know, on his back. But I wish we had more time. I really did. That was, a, that was a really close game, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. Subscribe for more Popper Slivers. I know this was a long one today. If you stuck through all the way to the end, you're a champion. And thank you for watching all the way through and supporting the channel. And we will see you guys in the next video.